All right, we're going to do an assignment in Adobe Photoshop, which is a photo imaging system, but we're going to be building something in it. So to go to Photoshop, you need to go to your start window and look for Adobe Photoshop CC um, 2014. Now you might have, if you're in the lab, you might have a desktop shortcut, but it is not going to be linked. Um, at least the last ones I saw weren't. So you're looking for Adobe Photoshop CC. I'm just going to have that PS right there. You're going to click it and it's going to take a while to launch. So I'm going to pause it until mine is launched. All right. So this is what Photoshop looks like when it's open. It has the menu bar up here. It has informational bar here. It has tools down here. These are different um, tabs and layers and um, swatches and stuff over here. So the first thing we need to do is come over here to new. This is like the background. So there's nothing there. We need to hit new and we need to name it hamburger, which is what we're going to make underscore and then your name. The presets clipboard, we want it to be default Photoshop size. What that's going to do is make it five by seven, the resolution, what we need. Okay. Now we need to change the background content to be transparent. Because we made that one change, it's now changing it to custom, but I wanted you to see what the size was and the resolution. Now that you have that click. Okay. So Photoshop gives us this working space, just like we have in Google Draw and other programs. When it's that checked, it means it is transparent. So we first need to notice where our layers um, palette is. Layers is over here, right there. And what layers is, is it lets us add on top to where we can select a layer of items, um, and not mess with any of the other things. It lets us totally do this. And so we're going to have a huge layered hamburger here, which is really how a hamburger should be. So the first thing I'm going to do is make the bun. And there's several ways to go about doing it. But I, since I'm going to be emphasizing the brushes, I want to come over here to the brush and I want the brush tool. And if you come up here, you pull down and you see I can do all kinds of different sizes and what this means is that the edges are blurry. This is the edges are hard and crisp. And that's what I want. I want the hardness to be 100%. I want the size to be about, oh, well, let's try 300. That's when I give up and type it. Okay. Over here is my colors. So I need a bun kind of color. So that would be down here in the yellow, browns, orange. That would probably be too much. I'm thinking right there is about good. So do you see that outline there? That lets me know is how big my hamburger bun is. So what I want to do is really treat it like a stamp. Um, I'm just going to click once and I now have a hamburger bun. All right. So when, um, we're going to make this, we're going to be adding layers on. And so that way you can add details. So this first layer, I want to double click on it over here in the layer, and I'm going to name it bun bottom. All right. So I now need to do another layer. If you come down here, if you look way over here, it says create new layer. And unfortunately, if you hover over it, it will show. Unfortunately on mine, it's out of my um, video uh, recording range. So it does say create layer and I'm going to create a new layer. And this one is going to be the actual burger. So I'm going to double click that and add burger. I'm going to spell it correctly. All right. So let's talk about layers for a minute. And do you see these eyes here? Um, that lets me know that that layer is visible and that this one is highlighted blue means that is the one I'm working on. So I have this tool about that size. I want to knock that down. Let's try 250. 
so I have it down to 250 I'm gonna click over here and I need a burger color kind of in here will do so I'm going to hover over kind of like that and I'm going to click it so now it looks like I have an ice cookie but this is really my burger and every good burger needs lettuce so let's add another layer and let's add this as lettuce and let's pick a lettucey color lettuce is a hopefully a nice green I like mine to be kind of that darker lettuce on my burger and so I'm going to kind of draw in lettuce but right now I need to go to my paint tool right now that paint tool is huge it would cover up everything if I did that and I don't want to do that so I need to knock my lettuce down and I think about 25 24 25 sounds good and I'm gonna draw it in so that's gonna look like this you just sort of draw your lettuce shapes you have all seen lettuce all right I'm gonna draw that outline so what I'm gonna do now is come over here and so now rather than painting everything in I'm gonna come over here and find my paint bucket tool and if you look here it's not visible these little deltas down here at the bottom mean there's other things there and so this gradation tool right here is if you think about it that's a fill tool so I'm gonna click that and my paint bucket is right here so I'm still selected to be green that um, means that's the outline I'm just gonna drop it in there so what happens now is I have that weird little black outline and I'm going to put that little arrow right on it and it fills it completely okay so before we go on um, I'm gonna go back and add some details on that burger so come over here to the layers um, channel and um, let's click on the burger so that blue highlight tells me I can see the burger and that's the one I'm gonna work on but I can't see it because of the lettuce that's when I come up here and click that eye that lettuce is now hidden and I can use my brush and I'm gonna add some of those grill marks on it that um, make me really really hungry um, but instead of this hard edge I want one of these softer edges and if you see I'm just gonna pick that one right there 20 and what that means is it's gonna be a little fuzzy I'm gonna come over here and click my color and I'm gonna pull it down into the darks and I'm gonna add my grill marks on it so now when I make that lettuce visible I can see that I have lettuce there but my grill marks are there I can hide that to get to my bun and so on so we're gonna add one more layer well, we're gonna be adding more than one layer but we're gonna add a another layer and this is gonna be tomatoes okay so again I want to make sure that layer is highlighted right now there's nothing on it if I were to turn off all these other layers it would just be a blank notice the representational of what's going on and I'm going to draw the biggest juiciest tomato you've ever seen I love a good tomato on my burger so I'm gonna put this back up to be about 200 um, I want the hardness to be there and I need to be a tomato -y red so we're gonna come up here those are a little too pink I kind of like about in there and again I'm gonna stamp it all right so I now need to get that a little bit lighter to do the inside so I'm first gonna drop my tool brush down 
let's say 170 ish and I'm going to come over here and pick like that you know how the tomatoes are kind of uh, lighter in the center I'm gonna pick that and I'm gonna stamp that okay so we now need that wagon wheel effect going on so if you come over here I can select my eyedropper tool to select that color now watch down here I'm gonna select that original red and I now have that so I know I'm getting the exact red I need I'm gonna take my brush tool down to let's knock it down to about 20 that seemed to work pretty well 25 20 and I do want a hard edge on that oops I didn't need to do that and I'm gonna do those um, different divisions inside the tomato beautiful isn't it well I'm going to um, show you one other part of the tool come over here to the paintbrush and I want to select the um, the options to come up and I want to use this mixer brush tool what that's going to do is it's going to let me smear it now that might be a little bit too much but I want you to see the effect so let's go up here and let's make our brush that 20 again and what it's going to help do is it's going to help blend and soften those edges so that it really does look a little more tomato-ish it's kind of like um, how y'all like to smudge with your fingers and how I don't like you to smudge with your fingers it's kind of doing that but digitally And so you get the idea of what's going on you can just sort of smudge it to make it look a lot better it kind of brings that color around softens those edges all right so your job is to finish this burger off and to have at least seven layers we've already started you with four but we didn't add a lot of details except for on this tomato guy so um go back and add details on that lettuce add more layers on top of this put a top bun on it i am going to do a second little video showing you how you need to deal with this at the end of the class period and i'm actually going to have you listen to that one first so if you forget it go back and listen to it happy photoshopping <laughs>